Hey guys and welcome back to my City Builders channel here on YouTube. I'm Ben and today I'm back again with a new tutorial for my ch channel um, which will be about how to edit your individual assets in game and what I think is the easiest way to do that. Um, so I prepared a couple of things. Um, you will need a few assets for and mods for City Skylands actually to make this work. Um, which, yeah, I think it's not unfortunate. It's something you have to work with. Though so I'm currently starting City Skylands right now. Um, yeah, this is something you will need a couple of mods for. I'm listing them down below, and I'll explain to you specifically what this mod is about and why you need it and yeah the thing is well let's first jump into the content management which lets you have a look at the mods that i have currently on here and you want to have a look at on the one hand the find it mod by sway this is absolutely helpful. This mod helps you find and organize the assets that come with, on the one hand, city skylines, and on the other hand, those assets that you actually downloaded from the Steam Workshop or any other location um, that you might want to use for... Um, finding new assets, new props, uh, whatever you want, um, then you should have the move it mod installed because it makes things a little bit easier, but this is not essential to be honest. And the last one you will need is the procedural objects mod. Um, so those three mods will be essential for everything you're doing. And since I want to specifically talk about um, those highway signs and like highway gantries, there are a couple of things that I downloaded. Um, so I will put the link again down in the description so I installed the gantry ads the monotube gantry the trust gantry network um, those three things I activated it and made sure that those are all on um, and I'm using just for that of course I have a couple of additional signs but currently I'm using this dynamic message sign which doesn't necessarily mean that the final product we will have is actually a dynamic message sign because that's something you well you have to manage it and work with it from a totally different perspective it has nothing to do with just adding text editing text and um, like putting your individual uh, individual message on such a sign. Um, so I downloaded these four uh, signs here just so that I have something to work with. Um, of course, as you can see, there are a couple of other mods like empty highway signs, highway blank signs um, in the Steam Workshop available. As you can see, there are so many things you can choose from. But this is something I'm not touching right now. It's uh, only the um, dynamic messaging sign, but still the process of editing those signs will always be literally the same. So what I'm actually doing is I'm continuing um, in one of my latest cities my city Verville, which has something around 100k citizens at the moment, just to have something to work with and something where I can show you how 
uh, this mod and everything else around it actually works. Um, so just let me load City Skylines for you very quickly and I'll be back for you in a couple of seconds with the detailed tutorial on how to edit your own signage or any other thing in game, save it and it will stay there like literally maybe forever. I don't know. Depends on you. <laughs> so I'll be right back. So finally, City Skylines loaded. And since I was talking about highway signs, I want to choose one specific location here uh, right before this off ramp here. Um, as you can see, those are the standard signs up there that the game is coming with. Um, and those are, as you can see, they are not defined, um, of course, in specific, uh, because the game, well, they can't create signs for each and every on and off ramp. It doesn't, simply doesn't work. So what I'm doing now Having all the mods we discussed previously activated, haven't downloaded the assets before, restarted the game, I came here and now I'm using the find it mod to first search for those, um, sorry, gantries. And the most important thing here, you might assume it's something like a prop or a ploppable, but I'm not sure where it's actually um, like sorted in. There are two different types of gantries, the monotype tube, monotube gantry and the truss gantry. I personally prefer, but that's just my um, my personal taste. I prefer this truss gantry network. So what I'm doing now is I want to have like one gantry running from here across the highway to let's say somewhere like there. Of course you can still adjust things as usual with the move it mod. So if it doesn't work or look properly, <coughs> excuse me, if it doesn't look properly according to your taste, it's totally fine. You can move it with move it mod. It's not an issue. Um, and the next thing I'm searching for is the, I'm just wondering. Um, so it's a sign that I'm using. Uh, it's somewhere down below there, as far as I remember. It's here, they should come. Yeah, here they are. So these are different types of dynamic message signs. Those two, I think they don't have a huge difference except for some design thing. Um, this here is a very small sign that you could probably put on a roadside and inform like your drivers that there is something happening or something urgent or they have to stay for another 10 minutes in the traffic or whatever. Um, so I'm picking one of these two just for the example. Um, I'm putting it down somewhere on a map where I'm actually allowed to put it down. Oh, sorry. I just forgot one essential thing. When you've that selected here, make sure that you convert it into a procedural object. The thing is, um, without converting it, you won't or you will never be able to edit the text on the sign actually. So I'm putting it down right here in the middle of the road. And then you can see this little plus sign. When you click on it, you can click on the edit button and then actually you're able 
very similar like a 3d program you're able to move this sign around so you can move it like a little bit higher uh, you're able to move it a little bit closer to the gantries and over here it gives you another um, very important like um, tool window I would like to say that allows you to um, change the position and orientation of the object so what you can actually do is like what could it be maybe 720 let's see whatever that's okay that's the wrong axis maybe you just have to try things uh, out first probably it's the set axis I don't know no it's not set of course it's the epsilon axis in my case so I'm rotating this thing um, just to make sure that I'm matching. Sometimes it's it's a bit strange, but 90. A hundred and seventy. Yeah, you just have to try things out a little bit. Um, maybe it's a hundred and sixty-five. Probably, yeah. This is looking quite good. So let's say a hundred and sixty-two, and this should be working quite nicely here. And then I'm moving this a little bit closer to the gantry, just to make sure that it looks as natural as possible. And then I can maybe lower it a little bit and also make sure that it's close enough so that it actually sticks to the gantry so this is the positioning thing so now you have this object here um, and in a second step you have this field down here which says text customization and this will be the important part now because you want to make sure that you can write down your individual text. Um, so by clicking on this button, you get a preview of the texture that's being used for this like prop and there you can add a text field and for example in that case it says well sorry yeah down there welcome to will um so still not huge you can see the text is here um you can change the color of the text into in that case for example something like more yellowish which would be nice um, the spacing of the letters is not that important in this case uh, we're not scaling it and if available you can actually choose between different fonts so I'm choosing now a font that I also downloaded from the Steam Workshop and it says it's named Electronic Message Sign Font. Again, the link is included down below. If you haven't it installed, you can use the Arial font either way, so no worries about that. And then you're actually able to click this object and uh, by um, releasing the mouse button again, you're able to move things around and you should be able to see here on the right side in real time where uh, your text will be appearing in 
the final model so you can easily like center it here or um, more like move it to the right side or yeah center it on the on the sign itself and as soon as you've done that you can easily close it and click the procedural objects button up there again and then you're good to go and you can continue playing the game as usual um, so after zooming back in for example and letting the game run you see that there are no issues with um, anything like uh, cars not working traffic is not working or um, trucks cannot um, pass under this sign so everything's good and we can leave it like there it's a nice asset i think that you can add if you're a little bit more deeply into customizing your town um, which is actually something i'm not really doing in those episodes of mine because um it's still too early in game for me personally um but yeah this all depends on like on your choice whether you want to more like be the one who who customizes everything in detail see even there when cars are passing under this sign it gets illuminated so everything's working properly here and yeah you're basically good to go you can use this with well ev almost every i think every prop that's somehow available so even if you want to um like give your mm, just let me think what else we could use here uh, not the bus metro hub but probably yeah let's just search for airport and um, for example when I'm putting this down here just for fun uh, it's not really uh, something I will save uh, for the later game so I just put down the airport and you can easily now again same mistake here i should have clicked on procedural object first so let's pick the small airport there um, or this one yeah that's good i'm putting it down so it's going to be a procedural object convert into again i simply forgot it so i'm converting it into a procedural object i'm getting one specific building here and like here it says um, again it gives me an edit function it allows me to use the advanced text customization probably i'm not sure So let's check why in that case it didn't work probably it's just too huge this model could be just too huge for something like that um yeah but still i think you you get it and i think you understand how that mod is working and how you can actually customize certain certain signs and certain little elements in your town quite easily to be honest so yeah good thing to try out if you want to do it if you want to put in the extra effort i think this is as i said really important for those who either want to like rebuild an existing city or create something really really unique and put in the extra hours because i can imagine this really 
will take you hours um, to do that. Actually, there is one very nice um, addition to what we've cut here. So you can easily, once you've done that, you can easily copy um, those elements and yeah, right now, copy. So usually it does work with copying and pasting. I'm just curious. Exported objects, texture management. Yeah, usually it does work for some reason. It doesn't work. I'm a bit wondering about to, about that, to be honest. Um, but yeah, however, I think you get it. Uh, it's done quite easily and hopefully this helps uh, some of you who would like to do that. So thanks a lot for joining me again today in this very quick, very little tutorial about customizing signs and other elements like that uh, for your city. I hope you had fun in case you have any questions or in case I missed putting down like any links or any additional information, please let me know. I'm happy to help you here. Um, so whenever you want to try it, give it a try. And if you like this video, please consider following my channel. Leave me a like for this video and yeah, come back. Hope to see you soon. Have a good one. Bye bye. Thank you.